So, today we're going to talk about another quiz. Or we're going to have another quiz. But this time it's rather going to be something that's not funny, but more or less something that's interesting or useful. I know it's not going to be about some um, stuff. Quite. But yeah. <laughs> There's going to be more after the intro, uh, as, as always. You know, as every single day. And I'm a little bit tired. You know, maybe I should sleep a little tiny bit more. Uh, the past two, actually two days, actually. And you know, I haven't slept that much because I always thought like, well, I gotta have to get up quite early. And then I've just lost a bunch of time during the day, which is something that I didn't quite understand. Especially because on Monday and Tuesday, so yesterday and today, I'm not working out, which is a pretty cool thing because it gives me one hour more of time. Actually, even more because yeah, it takes quite a lot of time. But anyway, with this being said, hello, welcome back to the next episode of the self to open with tactics podcast. I'm happy to be here and I'm also happy to go through this quiz. And it's going to be about the human brain. You know, I've actually just taken the first one before and the question was how many percent of the brain we're actually using and the uh, options were 10 percent 20 percent and 100 percent and i've ticked the 100 percent because it is definitely a myth that we're only using like just 10 percent or something uh, not really the case i don't know no, not really the case maybe for conscious something things but i mean it's constantly working you know it's, it's constantly working so the next question is true or false brain size is related to intelligence no that hasn't been definitely determined. False. There is no relation whatsoever. Yes, which is true. In terms of brain size, uh, in terms of the brain size, doesn't matter. The average human brain weighs around three pounds or 1.3 kilograms, whereas a sperm whale brain runs about 17 pounds, which is 7.7 .7 kilograms. So it appears that the size of the physical body has more to do with determining brain size than the actual cap uh, capability, which. I think if we are thinking about processors, uh, so CPUs, then uh, there is CPUs at this point in time that are really, 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 really fucking small. But they are just immensely strong and powerful. And in terms of the computing power, I mean, compared to things that we had like, I don't know, 100 years ago. Like, is it actually too much 100 years? I don't actually know. But the first computer is like filling out the whole entire room. And now we're having just like a smartphone, which is just even more powerful a few times than than, than the quote unquote original computer. So maybe, I know, just maybe we can also think about it in that sense. The next question, what causes people to develop Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, which results in loss of brain neurons, lack of thiamine, which is or seems to be vitamin B1, concussion and or lack of protein. Just going to take lack of protein. No, it's the lack of thiamine. Lack of what is concussion? Concussion? Why is it blue? Does this also mean that it is wrong or is it like something in between? So the lack of thiamine causes Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome and alcoholics are often lacking in thiamine, a very important B vitamin. So although alcohol abuse doesn't directly cause Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, it can play a role. I did, by the way, not know that. And I also wonder which year this quiz is from. Because the thing is, I always thought that you're gonna get just really fucking dumb if you just drink a lot. You know, <laughs> one of the main reasons why I've actually also decided to not, not, well, yeah, besides that, that it's just not healthy, you know, for your liver and stuff, but it, it's been an additional factor, like, okay, I also do not want to be done, you know, and therefore I've decided, well, let's just not do that then. Which side of the brain helps you to be more creative? I think it's the left side. Fuck, both sides are useful. <laughs> Although the right hemisphere has long been tutored as the creative epicenter of the brain, recent evidence indicates that that is all hogwash. In fact, math regarding creativity and many other ones pigeon hold pursuits actually use both sides. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think also it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because, uh, I mean, you're having so much energy and you're having so much space of computing power. Why shouldn't you be using everything for everything quite? What's the main function of the hypothalamus or hypothalamus? A small part of the brain near the pituitary glands. Blood pressure, homeostasis and or memory. The hypothalamus. I think it is not memory. I'm gonna go for homeostasis. Yes, and I'm fucking right. Motherfucker, bitch. The hypothalamus wears a lot of hats, but its primary function is to keep the body in a happily stable state known as homeostasis. So if you get hungry, it pings you to eat. And if you're thirsty, it tells you to drink EDC and it also regulates energy and so on. So I think, no, it's not that one. Interesting. 
interesting. I like your style. What was that? Well, the sixth out of 10 questions. Alzheimer's disease patients typically have damage to which part of the brain? Hippocampus, amygdala or cor cerebellum? I think that it might be the hippocampus or the hippocampus because the amygdala, I think this is not. Yes, I'm right. What the fuck? The hippocampus which resides in the temporal lobe plays a tremendous role in storing long-term memories since alzheimer's causes shrink of that area of the brain memories are therefore affected which is a really fucked up shit and i hope that that we are able to kind of solve that problem and i think we're also in a relatively good way as far as i know but i don't know that much about that so yeah which part of the brain can you blame when you get all emotional? The amygdala? Yes, I think it's the amygdala. Yes, and it is the amygdala. This is, I actually know that because of the uh, lizard brain. The lizard brain, also called amygdala, is where the emotions lie, is where the, um, also kind of like all the fear that we have, and that, which is quite unnecessary at this point in time, and also all the other things. Like this is just, on one hand, I think we need it. On the other hand, there's just a lot of shit that we just don't need. Especially when, when I think about fear, like, why? I mean, like, if it is about heights, yes, I understand it. But if it is about, like, just being dark and shit when you're at fucking home, no, doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, it, it is dark, there's just no photons around. Like, this is quite it. That's why it's dark, but yeah. The amygdala is the emotional epicenter of the brain, while the occipital lobe manages visual processing and the parietal lobe is key for navigating and spatial orientation. The more I know, I guess, you know? Which section of the brain is nicknamed little brain? Medulla, corobellum, and or pons. I would actually like to go for the carobellum or carobellum. I, yeah. Yes, and it is right. <laughs> for, su for, such a, for such a pet height nickname, the cerebellum has a big job as it's responsible for making muscle groups work together to achieve coordinated coordination and balance. And it is always working. Always. All the fucking time. So therefore, like, I mean, like, just because of such things, I guess there's no way that we could rely on 10%. Like, of course, if we just think about like having so much computing power, which in the end would be kind of unnecessary because it's probably, uh, yeah, even though I thought about energy because there's a lot of reasons why, um, why you're not gaining, for example, muscle, I'd say. We, we, what I'm referring to is if your body notices that the muscle that you're having is unnecessary and you don't use it and you don't need it, then it's going to break it apart. Probably. Quite, quite. You know, because it just it, it is just some energy. It is weight and therefore also energy and, and just also other things, I think, besides the weight and stuff. So, so yeah, you know, I thought about it in the same way with the brain as well, so that if it would be just really, 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 really powerful that's so, that, so that we actually can say, okay, it's only 10% that we are in use of, that would be quite a waste of time. But also on the other hand, I then had to think about the fact that just you don't have to use it all the time, probably. Like, yeah. What does the presence of wrinkles on the brain mean? You're getting old, you're smart, you're big. I think you're smart. Fuck! You're big. Body size affects how convulent... Convulent? Wrinkled the brain is. Small animals tend to have smoother brains, whereas humans and large mammals have brains that are more wrinkly. The more I know. Most of the brain's weight is devoted to which part of the brain? Hippocampus, cerebrum, cerebellum. I don't really know if I should take the hippocampus once again, because I, I'm, I'm clearly actually not knowing. A lot of things I'm not knowing. But if I'm just getting this wrong, then, ah, then I've gone 4 out of 10 wrong. Not that good. So I, I have to decide pretty uh, smartly, if you say that. Rationally, maybe this just is a better word. So most of the brain's weight is devoted to which part of the brain? The hippocampus was was cerebrum. I would actually like to go for the cerebrum. Yes, motherfucker. 85% of humans' brain weight is in the cerebrum. Is it actually cere? Cere? Yes, cerebrum, <laughs> which is in change of functions like speech, memory, the senses, emotions, and communication. Uh, it is split into four sections called lobes: frontal, temporal parietal and occupational and i've got seven out of ten motherfuckers which is uh, quite neat lit as fuck i'd say like i, th I think it's uh, cool pretty cool pretty, pretty 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 cool and there's actually a lot of really interesting articles and i do just think should i end the episode now i actually don't want to i actually would like to just talk more but also know that i have to then edit tomorrow everything that i'm gonna talk additionally to there unless i'm just gonna decide like okay nope 
I'm not gonna cut this part. I know this is like free talking and stuff, and it's maybe only gonna be just cutting out the the pauses and stuff that I'm having a lot of. What is the rust movement all about? I don't know. But but there's actually indeed a lot of really great articles and a lot of interesting things. Uh, by the way, by the, by the, by the way, and it is loading. Thank you. Because the question of the day, I could actually think about a question of the day. But what could it be? No, I actually, well, yeah, anyway. We will actually go through some, some funny things. Comics, you know, on the oatmeal.com site. How to be socially distant. Uh, how to touch your face less. Let's have a look. Maybe it is funny. Touch a different body part. I'm touching my muscles for safety. Hold a toy. Play with me. Play with He-Man. Do it for the greater good. I'm once again touching my extraordinary muscles for safety. Acknowledge the urge. Simply remind yourself not to touch your face isn't going to get you anywhere. Suppressing urges only makes them worse instead of acknowledge the urge and then practice your counter behavior, which is touching your fucking ass or what. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, the question of today. What is the question of today? Um, the question of today is that I gotta have to take a shit. First part. Second part is, which, where's my smartphone? Somewhere else? Oh, I have it. The, the other one is like, um, w w what could it be? I'd like the, the other episode had a pretty cool question, so I also gotta have to have one in this one as well. Um, hum, 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 hum. Do you set your dreams too low? Your goals too low? And I've been talking about it like, and I'm gonna recap it in a really small and quick manner. If I shoot for Mars, then my possibility and chance to hit the moon is way, 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 way higher, even though I lose, you know? Even though I lose, then if I aim for the moon, if I aim for the moon, then the possibility is there that I'm gonna just hit Earth or some tree or something. You know, it still depends on where I am at this point in time, but, you know, let's think about Earth. It's, it's, it's not just entirely sure, but if I want to hit Mars, which is a just tremendously big goal, then I'm also gonna work tremendously a lot, or well, actually. Which means that the chances are, are, are higher and also better that I'm gonna get to somewhere else, that I'm gonna get to the moon, you know? Which is, I think is something that's quite, quite of an important thing. I just really like the lighting that I'm having today. It's actually pretty cool. Pretty, pretty hella lit. Also the colors. You know, I'm just normally always having a color correction there. And I really love that. I know the, the original, like, I could actually show you really quick. I think I can. I think I can. But I really hope that nothing is going to break then. Is it a video capture? Yes, it is a video capture. Yes, it actually looks pretty shit. I mean, like, if you just see that, I'm a little bit more yellow. Um, a little bit brighter, my hair look way cooler, and it's, it's just a bluish or orangish kind of style thing. And I really like that. Really, 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 truly like that. But yeah, I think I'm just, I do not actually want to end the episode, but I know that I'm going to be pretty thankful tomorrow if I'm doing that. But I actually don't want to. I would like to. Maybe, I, I think I actually have to do an episode that I'm not going to cut, but I'm just talking for as long about whatever I want to talk about as I want quite but yeah but I think I have to end the episode there so um might actually be like a 10 minute episode because I'm cutting out so much from time to time but yeah anyway I wish you the best health of happiness and also success and also hope that you're gonna remind yourself and you're gonna be remembered which basically means your legacy and basically means just being a nice person and then being a uh then being also remembered as a nice person but but yeah um Three other questions that I'm having for you are, why are you here? What are you trying to change? And what is bothering you the most? These three questions are hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, but hopefully, hopefully, hopefully a business idea. And I really got to have to thank you for the time and for the attention and for everything else. I really appreciate it. Like every single click, every single subscriber that I'm having, I look at it and I'm happy about that because it is a big thing. You know, time is a big thing. Your attention is a big thing. And this kind of working from time to time <laughs> is also a big thing, kind of. But yeah, gonna see you the next time. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, like really. And yeah, I'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.